Welcome to Essilor in Auckland. The production of a lens can be broken down into eight steps. There's the ordering, followed by the taping and blocking, the surfacing and polishing, certain coatings and treatments are applied, finally the fitting of the lenses to the frame, and last the quality control. Let's take a closer look at each of these steps. The first port of call is the ordering centre. It's here where Essilor's trained customer representatives take incoming orders, input technical data, answer phone queries and monitor jobs passing through the lab. In a busy practice, you may talk to one of these representatives every single day. Once the job instructions are complete, the job then moves to the warehouse where Essilor keeps a range of semi-finished and stock lenses ready for use. At any one time, there can be over 110,000 lenses in this warehouse alone. These are the lens blanks that will be resurfaced to the exact prescription that you have specified. Once these lens blanks have been organized, the job then moves out of the warehouse and into the busy lens laboratory ready for the next process. Taping the lens involves placing a protective plastic coating over the front surface so that it's not damaged or scratched in the processes that follow. The back surface of the lens need not be taped as this is where the prescription you specify is applied. During blocking, a large metal block or chuck is attached to the front surface of the lens for correct alignment when the prescription is being applied later. Careful video monitoring is used for accurate centering of the lens as it's being attached and a special molten metal is used which cools to a solid at room temperature and seals the lens and the block together. The lens is now ready to have the prescription applied in a process called surfacing. Surfacing generators can create complex curves on the lens blanks and customize the prescription as specified by your initial order. They can surface all types of lens designs from single vision to the most complex of progressive lenses. They are constantly being calibrated to ensure the greatest of accuracy. Generating the prescription uses two types of tooling. A roughing tool, which creates the initial profile of the lens, and a diamond tip fining tool, which creates the final complex surfaces. Both these tools operate at very high speeds to resurface the lens to your specific and exact requirements. This is customization at its finest. And in real time, the process is very fast indeed. After surfacing, the prescription on the lens is complete, but the lens surface is slightly opaque and needs to be polished, which is the next stage in the process. Many customised lenses are polished in this manner, However, for the latest generation of digital surface lenses, a different polishing technique is used so that the complex surfaces are not compromised in any way. After polishing, the lenses are completely transparent.
The tape and the block are carefully removed and the lenses are cleaned and checked for any defects. At this stage, the lenses are complete with the prescription you specified, but there are no protective coatings or treatments and so this leads to the next step, the coatings lab. On arrival in the coatings lab, the lenses are checked once again for any defects. The prescription is checked along with thicknesses and diameters to ensure that they match your exact specifications. Tinting the lenses if required is the first step and is still performed by hand, requiring a great eye for consistency and colour rendition. So take this into account the next time you order lenses to be matched to a sample you provide. Following tinting is the application of the protective hard coat. The lenses need to be cleaned once again to avoid any dust particles interfering with the coating. This is a slow and manual process, but ensures the highest quality of scratch resistant coatings available. The lenses are arranged in stands and placed in the hard coat conveyor, which is a series of baths and ovens that clean, coat and cure the lenses with a protective silicon based coating. The process takes about an hour and a half and is a must for all plastic lenses. Once out of the hard coating conveyor, the lenses are placed into another oven which completes the process and prepares them for the next step, the anti-reflecting coating. The coating is applied in a specialised vacuum chamber where a specific and unique recipe of chemicals are used. Heated to very high temperatures, these chemicals turn into gases, fill the chamber and coat the lenses with a very thin layer. The use of different chemicals results in multiple thin coatings on the lenses and it's the reason why anti-reflecting coatings are often referred to as multi-coats. It's the application of multiple layers which reduces the reflections. When the lenses are coated, they need to be removed, turned over, and the process is repeated for the other side of the lens. And finally, before the lens leaves the coating lab, it's checked once more. The lenses are now complete with the prescription and the coatings you have specified. The next stage is fitting the lenses to the frame. The frame is first scanned and information from the initial order is used, such as PDs and heights that you provide. The lenses are then inserted into the edging machine, which reshapes the lenses so that it fits perfectly into the frame. Some lenses need to be drilled with holes, such as those being fitted to rimless glasses. After edging, the lenses are easily inserted into the frame. The final step is the quality control, where all the parameters are confirmed so that the final pair of glasses you receive are exactly how they were prescribed and ordered. So there you have it, the final product.